All right, this is the highlight video from February 6th, Wednesday, in the uh, GreatStockPicks.com live trading chat room. First Solar did it for us again. This has been a great stock for us. Um, let's see here. We had, uh, bear with me a second. I'm not sure what this tool does. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Had kind of a flag going here. Um, it had a super move yesterday. Okay, you can kind of see the top of the uh, big move yesterday afternoon. Today it gaps up. I think it got an upgrade. And so then it's kind of flagging. So I picked a little bit of an arbitrary entry. I just wanted it above this flag. 3015 was my idea. So right there. Um, called it before it got there um, during the flag. I said 3015, 29.99. Stop was the call in the chat room. And you can see what happened. 3015, it ends up challenging the high of the day. One little fake out there or one little uh, bit of selling. And then it was off to the races. Went all the way to oh, almost 30.90. Um, pulled back, held the stop, and ended up going to 31.25 at the highest. So at the best, a dollar ten move on 16 cents risk never stopped out. And uh, first hold has been really good to us. VVUS, uh, kind of the same deal. We had this one on watch. Had a uh, nice move yesterday, and kind of the same deal here. Uh, it's sort of a little, you know, you gap up and this little kind of downtrend line after the open, and went ahead and called uh, VVUS long. If I can find my arrow tool here, uh, right about uh, here at 1318 as it broke above this little flag. And a pretty nice move almost to 1350. I mean, again, you know, that's not a huge move, but on a $13 stock, certainly paid well. And actually, my best trade myself of the day, even better than First Solar, was a call that I sort of gave a verbal, hey, I'm in this one, but I, you know, I, I want to be fair in these wrap-up videos and don't ever want to act like, hey, I called this and everyone should have had it. Um, and, I, and I'll show you the setup here. Okay, here it is. This is PANL, all right? Um, and I saw a volume spike on it right here, uh, and a nice pop, okay? And then a few days ago, I don't have the daily chart up, but a few days ago, it made a really nice pop too. Um, and so this put it on my radar. Now let me get the arrow out of the way. And so it's grinding, and um, the more I looked at it, the more I looked at the daily chart, and uh, by the way, it's a thinner stock, and so it can jump around quite a bit, and you might have seven, eight cent spreads between the bid and the ask, and I usually... Uh, treat these like they have leprosy and just leave them alone. But, um, you know, I kept talking about how I like this one. And finally, about 31.20. And this, again, this isn't like me because if you if you look at the, uh, you know, look at the shape of this stock going, the shape of the candles going, you know, it's pretty extended even at this point. At least it felt like it. But uh, I finally said, hey, I like the way this is building. And I, I took it at 31.20. Uh, I said, it's not a call for the room. I can't stand it. I'm in some PANL. <laughs> And so anyway, with that said, some people followed me. So again, not an official really, hey, here's a trigger, here's a stop, like I did on First Solar VVUS. But look what happens. This thing was just off to the races and just a monster move. Went all the way to 34.50. So, you know, this won't be on the results page, but uh, it sure was a nice play. And here's the daily. Um, you know, at the time it was, uh, again, just above 31. And so it had a huge move there. I thought, and I even said when it was doing, I said, this might retest that 200 day and the highs from the other day, and it didn't just retest it, it blew right through it. Um, so that was a very nice money maker as well. Um, and then a couple small sandwiches out of uh, US Steel, otherwise I didn't have, uh, I don't think I had anything else. Oh, STLD, I mentioned on five, uh, five minute candle setup, when it looked like this. STLD was very strong. I said, this one might work over this candle's high, and that also worked well, but again, I didn't give a trigger and stop, I just kind of showed it. Um, and we had a couple trades in U.S. Steel on these uh, on these bounces after I missed the initial pop though, so and it didn't do much after that. All right, I'm not going to babble anymore. I got to go, so we'll talk to you guys tomorrow.